Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Pokemon TCG Crown Zenith Collection box. This particular box features Reggie Drago V. This box I did purchase from Walmart for $19.98. This is one of two collection boxes recently released for Crown Zenith. The other one features Regilecki V. So this particular box, if I flip over the box, you can see exactly what you get on the inside. You get an oversized Regidrago V, a regular size Regidrago V, and then a foil promo card featuring Regilecki, four Crown Zenith booster packs, and then a TCG Live code card. And I will be opening up the Regilecki V collection in the near future on my channel. I'm a huge fan of Crown Zenith. So many good cards and beautiful looking cards to collect in the Galarian Gallery subset. I actually purchased two of each of these boxes, but only opening up one in this particular video. I'm gonna try and keep some products sealed from Crown Zenith. I think it will be very, very collectible down the road. I actually like the set quite well. Of course, this being a special expansion, you cannot buy this set as individual booster packs or as a booster box. I like it quite well as a special expansion. Reminds me a lot of Hidden Fates where there's a lot of collectible cards. The Shiny Vault subset there. And then of course in this one we have the Galarian Gallery. 70 cards in that subset. Such beautiful cards. Of course there's the regular Galarian Gallery cards. The V, VMAX, and V Star. So there's a look at the promo cards within the box. I was hoping for Regidrago V-Star or something like that in this box, but you just get the normal V, SWSH 281 for the card number. Of course, this is the final Sword and Shield series set. Moving on to Scarlet and Violet, I believe March 31st of this year. So there's the Regidrago V and then the Regilecki which is just a special haul. It is not a Black Star promo. If you buy the Regilecki V box, the cards are reversed. You have a special hollow of Reggie Drago. There are the promo cards, essentially. The online TCG code card. One lucky viewer will unlock the contents of this box. And of course, the reason you're watching this video for the Crown Zenith booster pack. Same artwork on all four packs. Before I get to opening the actual packs, I will head over to TCG Player just to take a look at what the prices are for some of the more collectible and competitive cards in this set. Value-wise, if you go to the base part of the set, there are, what, 230 total cards in this set. There are 70 in the subset. Of the 160 cards in the base part of the set, only really the Pikachu has some value to it. There's one secret rare being the Pikachu. It's worth around $30 right now. Of course, the Radiant Charizard, a beautiful looking card, a card that I pulled before, but worth less than $15 right now. All the value is in the Galarian Gallery subset. Those four gold V-Star cards, very, very valuable. Five top cards there, four of the five are those gold secret rare cards, essentially. A card I'd love to pull would be that Mewtwo. There are so many beautiful cards to pull from this Galarian Gallery subset. Like I said, reminds me a lot of Hidden Fates. And I want to show you this Mewtwo V-Star. I was doing a little bit of research, but look at how beautiful this card is right here. You have Mewtwo V-Star, of course, in battle with everyone's favorite Pokemon in Charizard. Okay, so from four packs, ideally would have at least one good pull. I talk about this a lot with boxes. I wish there were guaranteed pull rates. I know things are changing with Scarlet and Violet, more hollow cars per pack, and almost, almost guaranteed pulls in that you're getting a lot more promo cars and things like elite trainer boxes. So four packs to open up. Ideal situation to pull something good in that rare spot and then something good in that reverse hollow spot. Like I mentioned, there's a Radiant Charizard. There's actually two other Radiant Pokemon available in this set. Eternatus also would not be bad to pull. 
does have a good ability on it, I believe. Four and then two to move the rare and reverse hollow to the back of the pack. First pack of the four starts with Riolu, Starly, Scyther, Pokeball, Young Goose, Grass Type Energy, Bisharp, Graveler, Pokemon Catcher, Reverse Hollow of a very cool Darkness Energy. You can actually get these as full art textured cards in this set. That's just a Reverse Hollow, I believe. And then the final card would be a Yan Mega. I know if you go back into the EX series of sets, I know we're almost returning to that in the Scarlet and Violet series of sets with the lowercase EX cards, but in some of the EX series sets, you could actually pull rare reverse hollows and rare hollows of energy cards. All right, second pack of the four. Now, of course, this being a special expansion, like I mentioned earlier, these these packs really are not available individually, at least in retail stores online. You can buy the packs individually, of course. Usually the best bet price per pack is an Elite Trainer box. I've been seeing them for right around $40 online. Second pack of the four starts with Pancham, Snowrunt, Rockruff, Howling at the Moon, Tangela, Baltoy, Metal Type Energy, Electric, Rescue Carrier, Jeerfrake, Reverse all of a Shink, say Common, and the final card would be a Waylord. 0 for 2 so far. That just means my good pulls are coming in the final two packs. That is sometimes why I like to open up two of these products in one video. I know the videos get a little bit longer. I do try and include the chapters in the video description as well as actually in the time log of the video so you can just jump ahead to whatever part of the video you want to see if you want to see the products unboxed if you want to see what i pull everything's available in the chapters you can just jump ahead to what exactly you want to see all right third pack of the four starts with scyther i've been a fan of scyther ever since the jungle set with the rare hollow scyther riolu young goose cherubi Starly, Fire Type Energy, Great Ball, Trekking Shoes, Luxio, Reverse Hollow of a Leafeon V Star. Now, I'm wearing the right shirt for it, an Eevee Evolution shirt. I've actually read a few lists out there of people's top 10 favorite cars from the Galarian Gallery, and this Leafeon is a part of it. Of course, lots of people are fans of the Evolutions. Grass type Pokemon, not particularly some of my favorites, but this is a very beautiful looking car. To date, it's actually the first V, V Star, or V Max I've actually pulled from the Galarian Gallery. You know what? Let's pull out a dab for that card. It is worth it. And you know what? Out of only three packs so far, this is an absolutely amazing pull. If you look at the bottom left, GG35 of GG70, and this definitely will have some value long term. And then the final card would be an Enamorous. I actually have an alternate art of Sylveon V sitting up in my bedroom on my nightstand. Carla pulled that from a pack. She was pregnant with our daughter, so I keep that out and have it in a top loader displayed. Final pack here. Hoping for some last pack magic. If I don't get anything good here, I'll take a V star like that any day out of only four packs. And I say it a lot, anytime that you open a set that has the chance of pulling more than one good card in a pack, it is a lot more fun. I remember opening up the E series of sets way back when on YouTube. You could pull out crystal type cards. You could pull out a rare hollow as well as a rare reverse haul all in the same pack. All right, final pack. It starts with Snowrunt. Pawniard, Tangela, Baltoy, Galarian Meowth, Darkness Type Energy, Geofrig, Pinchurchin, Pokemon Catcher, Reverse Hollow of a Radiant Charizard. If you can believe it, my second Radiant Charizard pull of my opening of this set overall. Such a beautiful looking card and I would agree with what I've read. This should be a very collectible card down the road. Anytime that you can 
pull a shiny form of Charizard, it is worth it. And this is a card I would recommend going out and purchasing several of if you're trying to invest in Pokemon cards. And the final card here would be a Simiseer V-Star. So I have my cheat sheet here, eight different V-Star cards in Crown Zenith. What a great way to end this opening. $20 down, three good cards to summarize. And I will be right back with that summary. From only four booster packs, very, very happy with the pulls. Three cards to summarize. From the base part of the set, pulled out a Simiseer V-Star. One of my favorite cards in the set, and of course my favorite Pokemon of all time in Radiant Charizard. And then the best pull of the opening, the most beautiful, the most collectible card, the Leafeon V-Star from that Galarian Gallery subset. So there you have it. There's another look at the brand new special expansion, Crown Zenith. Again, I would highly recommend opening this set. It's a lot of fun. And I wish you guys the best of luck if you go out and buy products that include Crown Zenith. And again, from now all the way through, I believe May, new products will be released that include Crown Zenith. So that will conclude this video. Make sure before you go to do two simple things. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already and then leave a like. I do have a Patreon out there if you would like to help support my channel even more. And then I do have a book out there as well, Pokemon Cards, the unofficial ultimate collector's guide. So thank you everyone for watching. Happy Pokemon card collecting and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.